National airport leaders very vocal tonight as they talked about improving safety for pilots and travelers. The airport's been working on what it calls a new master plan, and it wants to hear from the community before sending that plan to the FAA. New Center 7's Brandon Lewis, we have him live at the airport tonight. Brandon, the airport has been working on this plan throughout the pandemic. That's right, James. WHIO TV tonight has reported on some of the improvements being made here at the airport, but in its latest plan, airport leaders say the new changes may not be as visible as the upgrades happening here in the terminal area. Despite that, they hope that these changes, if they're approved, will make a difference. Changes are happening at the airport's terminal. That work includes expanding the central food court and remodeling the concourses. For the last three years, the Dayton International Airport has been reviewing and planning what our future is going to look like. Wednesday, the airport shared with the public its vision for the future. This is the draft airport master plan. Most of the work focuses on where planes take off and land. A lot of them involve decoupling some of the runways from some of the, uh, the location in proximity to the other runways, just to make sure there's proper distance from those uh, other runways, and also realign some of the taxiways. Turner said reconfiguring the runways and taxiways will only make it safer. I think uh, safety and visitor experience uh, are, are wonderful things to be mindful of when you're planning. Douglas Horvath showed up to see the impact these changes would have on green space near the airport. He admitted sometimes it could be more expensive to fly out of Dayton, but for the most part. In general, it's great to come here because the security lines aren't really long and you can find what you need. I asked airport management about the competition Dayton faces with Cincinnati and Columbus when it comes to finding the best prices on tickets. There's some other savings you can make along the way. We have $5 parking. Um, we are now have two low-cost airlines. Do you think this will entice people who use Cincinnati and Columbus to use Dayton? We hope so, always. You know, we want uh, the community to use their local airport. And the airport hopes to submit this draft master plan to the FAA at the end of the month. This is a 20-year plan. If, if all the changes that they propose are approved, it could cost upwards of $300 million. We're live at the Dayton International Airport. Brandon Lewis, New Center 7.